I used to be do a lot of work with the organization that preceded the St. John Paul Shrine in Washington. It, it then had a different name and different leadership. And in, in fact, they had a painting of mine of John Paul on exhibit there for several years. At one point, they were going to have an exhibit of, for African American Month, and they asked me to contribute something. I happened right around then to go to the portrait gallery in Washington, and there was a cabinet with a small exhibit of photographs of Sojourner Truth. And I was so taken <coughs> by the face. Obviously, this was a woman of humble origins, but I saw such intelligence in her face, such wisdom, and she carried herself with such dignity. And I looked at those photographs and I said, I know what I'm going to paint for this exhibit. Everybody liked it very much and they started saying to me, I should do a whole collection. Well, that's easy to say, right? It, it is a huge commitment and I just brushed everybody off. A few months later, I decided for some other event to do a companion piece. Uh, I was very taken with Frederick Douglass's face and I thought, well, I'll do a Frederick Douglass. Everyone liked that very much, too. And again, they said, you should do a whole collection. I, again, I said, no. Well, if people get after you long enough to do something, maybe at some point you change your mind and you say yes. If the commitment was every bit as long as I thought it would be, I pretty much devoted a year of, and a half of my life to this. But I'm certainly very glad, I don't regret doing this, because it was um, so educational for me, and it was like getting to know some very extraordinary people. It's really amazing and sad to realize to what extent these great people that paved the way for the great civil rights achievement are being forgotten by everyone, including African Americans. Someone told me that Chris Rock had a comedy routine focusing precisely on that. And he would say, all right, who was it that did such and such in civil rights? And people would say, oh, that was Martin Luther King. Then he'd say, well, who was responsible for this other thing? Oh, that was Martin Luther King. Oh, well, who was the woman who wouldn't give up her seat in the bus? Uh, Martina Luther King. <laughs> Other, Martin Luther King obviously deserves enormous credit. He would have been the first to say he was not alone, and a lot of people paved the way. He talks about the things that make people want to paint portraits. He talks about the power of the face. He talks about the power of catching the movements of the soul. That is really so insightful. And that is that captures why I paint and why my great love is painting people. Like you saw in the video just now, to me, my closest relatives are not artists who paint in a different genre, like landscape painters or whatever. To me, my closest artistic cousins are people like novelists, playwrights, actors. They are people who explore human nature and depict the conditions of man. They create characters. And that is exactly what I focus on. Uh, like the video said, I focus on people, uh, what people are like, things they go through. The main difference is that I do it with paintbrushes rather than with pen and paper. Actually, that opens the door to one of the big things in my painting life. 
I need models all the time for things like this because of what I do and I, I explain the situations. Now, you might think, well, as an artist, you have access to people who can pose for you. No, I really don't. I mean, I don't keep a dozen people of different sizes, sexes, and ages living in my basement that can just come up on cue and be photographed and go back down to the basement. I have no advantage over you. So that means anybody who's around me for at least half hour might just get asked to post. Nobody is safe around me. Not family, not friends, not repairmen. And you think that's hyperbole. Well, I want you to look at this uh, image, and I want you to look at this one. Okay. Now look. Those were both repairmen who got asked to do something extra. And the one on top said to me, don't I look silly like this? And I said, whatever, put that into your head. Just keep quiet and keep posing. <laughs> so sometimes getting a painting done is not a function of working in a state of rapt inspiration. It's being able to talk your plumber into crouching on the floor and pretending he's a runner. <laughs>